I love books and I hope you do too. Here is my book haul and I hope you like it too. We love books. Hi guys and welcome to my first official book haul. Yes, I am a part booktuber. I'm everything. <laughs> but I did an amazing job with saving money, getting books I definitely wanted to read, and borrowing. Something borrowed, something new, something blue. Getting married to books, people. Getting married to books. So, as you can see, I got a lot of books. Like, tons and tons and tons. So, alright. So, these two. Um, both erotica, one more of a th thriller, one more of a romance. Um, I bought these two freight at Barnes and Nobles. I have not read from either one of these authors. Breathe Into Me by Sarah Fox and um, Broken by Megan Hart. I did both New York Times bestsellers, so <laughs> rock out. Um, then we went to, um, library and purchase books. I got five books including a cute little do you want to hug Olaf book for my daughter but I got two Nicholas Sparks books uh, The Best of Me and A Walk to Remember. I seen the movie absolutely loved it did not get a chance to read the book so I'm excited about that. I repurchased a book that I actually was told to read during the summer of my freshman to sophomore year in high school very much enjoyed it. This is a reread The Color of Water by James McBride I did actually enjoy that. Uh, new book, um, Murder Mystery, Maybe Thriller, Shade Me by Jennifer Brown. Also, I've never read anything um, remotely close to a murder mystery or thriller, so I'm pumped about that. So, then we have our Something New, Something Borrowed slash Paid For, because um, it came from a library. Uh, no, we have some... I'm remedial. We have something new, something borrowed slash paid for, um, but then I also have borrowed and blue, almost like a marriage. So we have Losing Hope and Hopeless by Colleen Hoover, two I have not read from her. Um, we have What Alice Forgot by Leanne Moriarty, which... I love your last name, lady, because it reminds me of Sherlock Holmes, Professor Moriarty. He was the bad guy, if I'm pronouncing your name right, but that's to me, seems like it's right. And a three-part series of Colleen Hoover's called Never, Never, that I borrowed from um, Glitter Megs. And then I borrowed the other two Colleen Hoover's and What About Alice from Fluffness. They all the covers look like this, and it's just three parts. Um, right now, I am currently reading Shame on It All by Zane. So that is an African-American author, erotic novel. I love Zane. Um, my TBR has now just increased. I have a reread on my TBR, um, Nervous by Zane. Loved it the first time. Um, another Colleen Hoover book. Confess, which I heard is amazing for my friends. A part two for a part one, teen fiction, um, Shiny Broken Pieces, which is the sequel to Tiny Pretty Things by Sonia. D I'm not going to butcher your name, girl. And Danielle Clayton. Like, see her name? Yep, I'm not going to butcher it. I'm not going to do it to her. I'm just not. Um, and then the, this is the third book in the shatter me series by tahiri mafi and which i'm excited to get the fourth one but it won't come out in paperback until forever i have the girl i used to be by april henry another new york times bestseller i guess that's like a theme of mine um i have to finish a reread um by melinda metz called echo now it's not called echo the it's a three three books in one echoes haunted and trust um which is part of a series called fingerprints there's actually six books but this came in three four one and then i'm going to order the other three because they do not make them um in store print anymore um oh jesus and i dropped a dolphin don't mind me um <laughs> going crazy and then the very last one which is something i saw looked kind of interesting but i'm not really in the mood for it so it's at the end of my TBR. Um, it's called Dirty Rush by Taylor Bell. And I'm pretty sure it has to do something with like um, a scandal and like a rape with sorority and crazy nonsense going on like that. Um, so yes, it that is what I have on my TBR. Before I only had like three books 
for something like that on my TBR. It was naked. It made me very sad and very anxious. And now that I have more books to fill up my top shelf, which is my TBR shelf, I'll show you. Um, not these, because that's just like a journal, but these are all my TBRs. These are my borrowed to read, and everything behind here is what I've already read and kept I can honestly say that I have moved I've moved a lot so unfortunately a lot of my books due to storage reasons I had to get rid of um, I will 100% rebuy a lot of my books like for instance I had all four parts of um, the touch um, it's a touch series so like deadly little voices deadly deadly Fingerprints, Deadly Little Lessons is by um, my one of my favorite authors, uh, Laurie Thierra Stoltz. Um, I had all four of these in hardcover and I unfortunately only have two now because during moving I couldn't find them and place them together so I assumed I didn't have them all and I got rid of them so I do have to rebuy those and eventually reread that series because it's really good. Um, of course, the fourth Shatter Me series book is out in hardcover. I only have paperback, so I'll be waiting for paperback to read that one. After I read the Colleen Hoovers, if I really enjoy them and want to complete the collection, I will buy them as well. Um, I also want to start another series that I actually started reading, got sidetracked, never purchased all of them or finished them, which is a Daughter of the Moon teen fixture series. It came out when I was very young, and I'm still excited to read it, so that's awesome sauce. I'm still looking for, like, cheap books and things that I want to read. No joke. Like, I'm always looking. Eventually, I would start, like, living in Nicholas Sparks because I really want to run through his books and really want to read all of them. I may not keep them, but I totally want to read them. Um, it's, and I have to purchase, I read, I borrowed it from my bestie and read um, the first part. I'm losing my mind. Did I read the second part? <laughs> I'm losing it. And I have Colleen Hoover, uh, my daughter wanting to show her book. I have Colleen Hoover um, slammed in the point of retreat. Um, so I have already read slammed and returned that book. Did I read point of retreat? I'm reading so many and there's a few titles I didn't write down. So I can tell by the last page cause I'm a weird person. Whenever I go to read a new book, I always read the very last page of the book. Don't ask me why it just makes me happy. Um, it doesn't normally give the book away or tells me what's going on. But it's like a little sneak peek of what's to come. I never want to be like, I don't know. I don't know why I read the last page. Don't ask me. Um, oh, yes, I did read it. <laughs> it's on my red shelf, but I'm like, why can't I remember? Yes, I read it. So two part series to that. That was really good. Um, but and here's why I really second guessed if I read it because I had a bookmark sitting in it and I'm like, Normally, if I have a bookmark in a book, um, that lets me know, like, I didn't finish reading it. Because normally, I take them out and sit them off to the side. Like, for instance, in my Echoes book, my bookmark for my Echoes book is an old Barnes & Noble's gift card or Walmart gift card. So, when there's a bookmark in there, I'm like, wait a minute. Did I not finish this? And I'm losing my mind, apparently. And then I also, during my book haul, I got two very cute bookmarks. The first one, which is, oops, brain fart. I love dolphins. I make dolphin noises. I talk to dolphins. Don't ask questions. Um, and then, hang out and read. Because I love baby sloths. Because they're adorable. So, I have a lot of reading to do. And I feel like I'm going to kind of crush these relatively fast depending on what type of mood I'm in um, I'm definitely gonna read this weekend and enjoy I'm definitely gonna finish Zane um, either Zane um, shame on it all either tonight or tomorrow morning and then I have such a huge decision on what I'm gonna read next and I'm gonna write down what I've read this year like I have a couple of really cute notebooks that I'm just gonna start keeping track I'm not a booktuber kids like you know but I love to read and I want to share Reading is power. It's awesome. And I'm going to show you guys when I go shopping for my new bookshelf because I'm getting a bigger one because um, this bookshelf is itty bitty and it's angry and it's like the stuff is too heavy, lady. Get a life. And I want to make sure I have room for all the amazing books that I'm going to keep.
<laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely check out some of the titles. If you already read them, leave comments below. Let me know how you like any particular book that I that is on my TBR um, or even books that you've seen me or heard me say that I've read. So I'm super curious about opinions and whatnot. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and let me know if you got any cool um, booktubers that you want me to look out for. Thank you. Have a great one. Peace.